Hello and welcome to Wellbeing Wednesday. We at the Museums of the University of St Andrews will be encouraging you to take 10 minutes for a break to listen to museum story time. The objects in our collections tell fascinating stories and this is our chance to share them with you. My name's Ailey and I'm going to be your host. Today we'll be reflecting on the story that the painting Women's Work Hit and Ween by David Foggy can tell us. It's part of a collection we hold called Recording Scotland, which was part of a wider initiative called Recording Britain, which was established during the first year of the Second World War. It was an artistic project with the aim of creating a pictorial record of traditional and familiar scenes across the country in fear of destruction during wartime and more generally societal change such as urbanisation. The project also provided a bit of financial support for artists at this time too, who were maybe struggling to make ends meet. It was funded by the Pilgrims Trust and the Recording Scotland scheme was administered by a committee that was chaired by Sir James Irvin, who was principal at the University of St Andrews. Artists were asked to document views, places and sites likely to be destroyed in the future by building encroachments and other causes. Where the Recording Britain scheme issued commissions to artists, the Recording Scotland scheme asked artists to submit existing work for consideration. The work I've chosen to speak about today shows the work of women in Pitt and Ween in the East Nuke of Fife, around about 10 miles from St Andrews. As someone who grew up in the East Nuke, I know the winding cobbled streets rather well. So this painting is a spot on West Shore in Pitt and Ween. Now, if you go down to West Shore these days, you won't see this sort of work taking place. But thanks to having friends in the right places, I've managed to get my hands on a photo of the spot as it is today. Spot the difference. Now, I've also been in touch with our friends at the Scottish Fisheries Museum in Amstruller to find out about exactly what kind of work is going on in the painting. The women here are preparing sma lines, which is a type of fishing line used for fishing inshore for whitefish. So if you imagine one long fishing line and then lots of little lines hanging off that line with little hooks on the end, that's a sma line. Now, there would have to be bait attached to the end of the little hooks. And what we see here in the painting on the right, the woman has a basin on her lap and is baiting the little hooks. To her left, she has a quarter crayon, crayon's a measurement of herring, a quarter crayon basket of grass. And she'll use this to interleave with the coiled line to prevent it from tangling. Take another look at the front of the painting. There's a wooden board balanced on a great line basket, which is called the sma line skull, which is basically what would hold the line. The woman in the painting is filling it from the back to the front so that the line at the front will be on top for shooting out at sea. Now, according to Linda at the Scottish Fisheries Museum, in Pitt and Weem, the baskets were made of wood, which is very distinctive. She thinks that it looks like on the wall behind there's another partially completed skull as it has the green grass in it and that the girl at the woman's knee might be shelling the bait ready for it to be attached to the hooks. On the left of the painting there's an empty skull on a hand barrel which is the means by which they would be transported to the boat. Here Foggy has really captured a moment in time. As was hoped by the Recording Scotland collection, we have here a window into the past of the work that would have taken place down West Shore in Pitt and Ween at the time, which is rather special. See you next time. Bye.